The word is right at the tip of your tongue, but either you're not so sure about the pronunciation, you're not so sure about the usage, or it's like you know your mind is skirting around the word, but you're not able to retrieve it. That is what is, the word's not coming to your mind. If this is happening, the most important solution. Believe me, number five is most important, that is, hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of speaking fluently, confidently, improving your English speaking skills and communication skills. Yes, and today we are going to discuss something that's very important. It is a problem that is faced by almost 80% of the people who are learning English, who are learning to become fluent in English language. Almost 80%, almost 8 out of 10 people I meet, people who come in my live sessions, I get to hear this one problem a lot, a lot. And this is one of the most common problems faced by every English learner, every person who's becoming fluent in English language. And that problem is the words don't come to your mind when you're speaking in English. Now, the thing is that you want to speak English. Yes, you are speaking in English. You're taking that initiative. But the thing is that suddenly, all of a sudden, the words they don't come to your mind. Words are not coming to your mind. Believe me, it's a common problem. And yeah, this is something that you need to address. We need to solve it. And definitely we are going to solve it. Do not worry about this. In this video, we are going to solve this issue. I am going to give you some solutions that are going to be great for you. And you will be able to overcome this particular problem. So are you ready for this lesson? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor and communication coach certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK. And before beginning, please subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any lesson that I post for you on this channel. Like the video and share it with your friends too. Now coming back to today's lesson, that is the words don't come to your mind, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to look at some awesome solutions that I have for you. Do not worry why this problem is arising there are certain explanations why this is happening with you. There are explanations. So let's explore the problem as usual. And then I'll present you with all the solutions because understanding the problem once is important so that you can implement each and every solution in the correct manner. So this problem is that words are not coming to your mind. Now imagine a situation, you're in a situation where you are presented with this task of speaking in English. It can be a formal situation. It can be an informal situation. Now, all of a sudden, you're speaking something. And all of a sudden, what happens is words are not coming in your mind. That is, all of a sudden, you're feeling a kind of mental freeze that you want to speak something. You know the word. But suddenly, you're not able to, like, speak it. You know the feeling related. You know that, aha, I have listen to this particular word. I know this particular word. It's like, what's it called? I mean, I know this word. This is the situation that you're faced with, isn't it? Yes. The thing is that somehow in your subconscious mind, you know the word, you know what you want to say, you know the exact words you want to say, but you're not able to retrieve it at the moment you want to speak. But the thing is that in order to overcome this particular thing, what we have to do is we have to start speaking spontaneously. For example, start speaking spontaneously. That is when you're not too much pressurizing your mind to retrieve information. When you're not pressurizing yourself too much to think about things. So this problem is happening. Why? Because you are investing too much time into thinking before speaking. Either you're translating. Either you're trying to select a proper word. Either you're trying to form a proper sentence by putting each and grammar aspect of the sentence. And when you apply all of these things together, this problem arises that the words are not coming to your mind. One more problem is there that you might know the word. The thing is that you've learned the word, you know the word, you've heard the word, right? You know the meaning but you have never used it ever. And all of a sudden now you want to use it in a conversation. Or maybe you're giving a presentation, you want to use it. 
but because you have not used it before it's like you want to speak you want to speak either you're confused about the pronunciation or you're confused about the structure like how to use it in a sentence or you're not confident enough to use that particular word that am i using the word in the correct sense or not so that is the problem you're not so sure about those words now what to do the solutions i have all the solutions for all the reasons do not worry let's look at all the solutions now now let's look at the solution and the most basic solution for this particular thing is number one solution is to think in english now why i'm saying think in english you must think that think in english is such a simple task but let me tell you how you're going to apply this particular technique in order to fight this problem and overcome this particular problem now when you say that words don't come to my mind what are you doing when you're speaking something your brain is processing the information now the thing is that when you speak spontaneously in english for example right now i'm speaking spontaneously in english that is i'm not choosing the word no they are coming from the mind directly i do not have to wait for a minute to i do not have to choose this word that word the way people speak english in public for example a person is giving a speech in public and they are able to speak so fluently they are not stopping to think about it no the thinking part is spontaneous now they are not making any more efforts in thinking that's automatic for them that's there in their subconscious mind so that is what we have to do we have to create a habit of thinking in english so that our subconscious mind is trained enough to work when we are required to make it work that is when we are required to speak in english so you use your native language a lot and all of a sudden when you are presented with a particular situation where you have to speak in english it's like not able to rewire your brain right so that is what we have to do we have to think in english either we have to become really comfortable while thinking in english and stop that translation process that goes on or the confusion that is there in the mind okay if i am thinking this should i say this should i say that this kind of process which is going on in the mind should be eradicated for that you have to practice thinking in english deliberately practice thinking in english there is one point that start thinking in english when you're talking that's on the spot thinking but i am saying practice practice it you have time you have 10 minutes go sit down take up my techniques i have told you ample and ample of techniques for thinking in english right so you have a proper playlist think in english go check this playlist out check the lessons out all the techniques take up and start practicing thinking in english so that you're training your mind to work in a scenario in a situation where you are required to speak in english quickly on your feet spontaneously once you master this skill once you master this art definitely this problem will be decreased and after some time no problem left at all solution number 2 solution number 2 is to substitute substitute now this is a particular solution that we will use when we are faced with this problem at a particular time like it's more on the spot solution so imagine you are saying something you want to say something right you are speaking a particular sentence and you want to say it was a big dilemma now this word dilemma it's not coming in your mind what you can do is substitute for something that is easy if you want to say that dilemma it's right on the tip of your tongue right the word is right at the tip of your tongue but either you're not so sure about the pronunciation you're not so sure about the usage or it's like you know your mind is skirting around the word but you're not able to retrieve it that is what is the words not coming to your mind if this is happening you know the meaning you know what you want to say do one thing substitute it for easy version use something that is easy use something that is similar in meaning or you can say most appropriate in meaning to the particular word that's what you have to do at that particular time so that you can keep on speaking you can maintain the fluency of what you were saying so in order to maintain the fluency or in order to maintain the pace of your speech in order to keep on speaking because once you stop and 
you are just simply standing there or simply you're fumbling for the words it appears really bad you do not want to do that i know so in order to save yourself from that particular situation where you're fumbling for words you're like standing there you're trying to retrieve the word you do not know what to say instead of that it's better to use something that is easy replace it replace the word right instead of saying i'm famished say i'm hungry simple and if it's something else try to explain it in different words for example you're trying to explain something right destination the word destination it's not coming to your mind just an example i'm giving just an example so you can say a place where we go to as when we are on a vacation a place where we are supposed to visit or go for a short amount of time explain try explaining the word try to elongate the word maybe your audience or maybe your conversation partner might throw in the word for you and then you can catch it and then you can start speaking if you're in a two way conversation that's very easy and that's okay that's totally okay it's not something to be embarrassed of you can explain it and then go on you're able to communicate at that time when you are faced with this particular problem at that time it's like do or die now you're faced with the problem right you're facing the problem so at that time you have to do something and that is what you can do substitute for something that is more appropriate or substitute the word for something that is easy solution number 3 solution number 3 is to take your time pause and think yes so solution number 3 it's like nothing is working it's okay take a deep breath take a pause and think think for a few seconds and i'm sure whatever you were saying wherever you were whatever you want to say you'll be able to find something around that particular idea to speak the thing is that at times when the words don't come to our mind when this happens what people do is they become nervous and that's total normal reaction it's natural okay that's how our mind works you'll become anxious you will uh, start thinking about what i have to say instead of focusing on the word you start worrying about the reaction of your audience you start worrying about your speech that oh my god my speech is interrupted or if you're having a conversation that conversation is interrupted what to do in the situation you start freaking out you do not have to do that relax take a pause that's it leave everything nothing is working leave everything take a pause take a deep breath say or oh, just give me a moment just say that think about it and then start speaking what's the big problem you can do that on the spot solution is to take a pause take a deep breath start thinking and then start speaking that's it that's very simple and be confident about it that's fine it can happen we are human beings first of all accept that we are human beings it's not possible to be perfect all the time right so if you're faced with this particular situation take a pause think and then speak now solution number 4 solution number 4 is practice speaking in front of a mirror yes practice speaking in front of a mirror now mirror is going to be your best friend if you're facing this particular problem and when you're practicing in front of a mirror believe me do not record do not think about the body language no it's not some kind of focused uh, professional kind of practice you're doing for a presentation no what you're doing is you're trying to improve the way you speak you're trying to improve the process of thinking and process of speaking so you have to relax let it be a casual speaking practice it's going to be different than the mirror talk that i have told you about that's more professional more focused now speaking in front of a mirror is just that simple speaking take up a topic you can take up any topic from the topics that i have given you in this particular lesson so you can take one topic stand in front of a mirror relax no recording nothing and start speaking that's it speak 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 do not stop the thing is that you do not have to stop right whenever you're stopping taking a pause note it down somewhere that i took a pause like for once twice thrice do this and then you have to see how much you're improving so when you practice in front of a mirror a lot of times your brain is stimulated in the way you're having a conversation with somebody and that is why it's important to do this because 
it's like you're presented with that real life situation where you need to speak in english and where you face this particular problem it's like you're preparing yourself for that particular situation you are giving yourself a kind of similar environment right similar environment so you have to take this task up practice speaking in front of a mirror for 2 minutes 3 minutes 4 minutes every day do it and see the change it's going to bring and definitely this problem that you're not able to come up with words the words don't come to your mind you'll see that it is going to decrease a lot because there is this mirror and you know what you were going to say once you say it you're able to catch that particular word you'll be able to say it once again so do this number 5 solution number 5 is the most important solution believe me number 5 is most important that is increase your active vocabulary now active vocabulary is something that we have talked about a lot on this channel right we have talked about active vocabulary in a lot of lessons now active vocabulary is very important the main culprit behind words not coming to your mind is this your active vocabulary or should i say lack of active vocabulary because you're lacking in your active vocabulary now what happens is when you know a word you've heard the word you've listened to it you've read it you might have understood the meaning it goes to your passive vocabulary if you don't use it it will never convert into your active vocabulary only words you're using they become your active vocabulary so the thing is that it's a long term solution long term solution that you have to practice you have to improve your vocab active vocab that is when you learn a new word practice it practice it use it while speaking form some sentences and then use it some more so you need to convert your passive vocabulary into the active one why you're not able to retrieve it because your mind is not practiced enough to use it your mouth is not practiced enough to speak it so you know the word it's there somewhere in your memory somewhere in your passive memory and in order to make it active you have to use it actively that is you have to use it a lot so once you're comfortable using it you'll be able to speak it too and this problem of words not coming to your mind will reduce because now you're comfortable using it your mind will be instantly able to come up with the word because the word is there at the tip of your tongue but you're not able to speak it this happens when it's in your passive vocabulary it's not in your active vocabulary it's that problem right so the thing is that i told you about substitution why did i say substitute the word for something easy so you have to do this this particular solution number 5 relates to the solution number 2 of substitution so solution number 5 is a long term solution where you have to invest your time solution number 2 was on the spot solution if you're faced with a problem what to do at that particular time instantly so at that time you have to use something that you're comfortable using that is your active vocab the thing is that you're trying to use your passive vocabulary and you have to substitute it for your active vocabulary but in order to do that in order to speak fluently and in order to overcome this problem you have to apply solution number 5 the long term solution of turning your passive vocabulary into the active one yes so you have to turn your passive vocab into active that's the solution for you once you do it once you start speaking english practicing in front of a mirror and start increasing your active vocabulary i believe that you are going to overcome this problem at any cost believe me definitely you are going to improve it you will see huge improvement in this particular problem that you are facing because i've told you about the reasons why you're facing it there are reasons set reasons and there are also solutions available for this particular reason that you're facing right problem that you're facing so apply the solution understand your reason apply the solution and see the change in the way you speak and how you overcome this problem and how this problem decreases over the time eventually you'll no longer face this problem at all so that was the lesson for today that was the lesson go take up all the solutions 
Remember on the spot solutions, apply them whenever you're faced with this particular problem and practice the long term solution so that you're able to get rid of this particular problem forever. Now I'm going to meet you again in a new lesson. Till then, everybody, take care and bye.